Hey guys, Aaron here. Welcome back to a new video on my channel. Today I'm going to be going on to Tier Maker and ranking the Hearts players that I would keep, move on, or loan out. If you do go on to enjoy today's video, make sure to leave a like and a comment down below and press that red subscribe button so you never miss any future content from myself. So, without further ado, let's get stuck into the heart squad. First of all, I'm going to start with the goalkeepers. First up is Craig Gordon. Now, I've done a whole video on the signing of Craig Gordon. If you haven't seen that just yet, click the i button up there. You'll be able to go and watch it. I must say, it's a rather good video if you haven't watched that already. But Craig Gordon is just signed. You know, he's the first choice goalkeeper at Tynecastle. He's in the keep category, obviously. He's going to be the first choice goalkeeper this season. Now, on to Bobby Zlamal. He'll most likely be second choice, and well, to be honest, struggle to get any regular game time in front of Craig Gordon. His contract is up at the end of the season and I can see him sticking around for this season to be the backup goalie but after this season moving on to Pasteur's new at the end of his contract for young Harry Stone to step in as the new backup goalie. He's capable of some good acrobatic saves but he's got some erratic decision making at times so that's probably what's going to keep him for any further game time. However, he's a good character around the place He's a well-liked face in the Hearts dressing room and I can see this being his final year at the club before moving on to pastures now. So, Bobby's him out, keep for a season, but after that, move him on. <sighs> Colin, 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 where did it all go wrong for Mr Doyle? He arrived at Tynecastle in the summer of 2018 with glowing references from Bradford City fans who were gutted at losing who they said was their best goalkeeper, however, he never really got up to speed in Gorgie and didn't really do much in a maroon jersey. He had that one game at Easter Road to be fair, that one cracky performance in the 1-0 win which is more famous for Ollie Lee's stunning winner. But aside from that, he didn't really set the header light at Tynecastle Park and should be allowed to move on if a club comes in for him. Michael Smith. I love Michael Smith. You love Michael Smith. We all love Michael Smith. He's the best right back we've had since Callum Patterson, one of the best right backs we've had in recent years in my opinion, I'm pretty sure a lot of Hearts fans opinions as well. Solid, consistent, versatile, gives you a solid performance week in, week out. Firm contender for the keep category, should not be let go, he will be the first choice right back this season and to be honest, absolutely walk the Scottish Championship. Eddie White, one of Levine's many questionable signings, even out injured for two and a half years and was just given a two year deal on a plate and he's not been up to standard at all really like he's just not been very good has he if a club comes in for him he should be allowed to move on John Souter is another player Hearts should be keeping he'll be one of the first choice centre halves for the upcoming campaign he'll most likely benefit from having Christoph Berra alongside him once again and I do feel that those two are a very good partnership now John's just coming back from another Achilles injury and could be doing with a season uninterrupted by injuries. Craig Calcutt is another player Hearts should be keeping. He was unfortunate with injuries as well last season, although let's be real, we had a lot of players unfortunate with injuries during 2019-20, but Craig Calcutt should be kept at the club. He'll be able to deal with the championship with relative ease. Christoph Berra is now back at Hearts and should be kept on for the upcoming campaign. During his time on loan at Dens Park, Christoph played six games kept five queen sheets and didn't lose a single game which is a very impressive statistic. Dundee fans were raving about him because he showed up with the defence almost single handedly and was a big influence during his time there on loan. He was a rock at the back for the D's and will be a great player to have at the club because of his experience and he enters the last 12 months of his contract. Christoph Berrup should be staying put, hopefully he can get another season in the books for Hearts. Aaron Hickey, it breaks my heart to say it but sell. He's ending the final 12 months of his deal at Hearts and with various clubs including Bologna and Bayern Munich sniffing around we can't really afford to lose him for nothing in January and I think we should just cash in now while we can. Now the fee that Bayern are supposed to be paying is rumoured to be around about £1.6 million which obviously you'd be wanting more for a player as talented as Aaron Hickey but when you take into mind this contract situation He's not going to sign a new deal, let's be real here, although I wouldn't mind if he did. But £1.6 million for an 18 year old in the last 12 months of a contract, to be fair, we've kind of got to take it. Hearts should look to cash in because it's very unlikely Hickey will want to stay around in the Scottish Championship when he's got clubs of that calibre looking to sign him. And Hickey, as I said, I wish it wasn't the case, but we should be looking to sell him while we can. 
Ben Garuccio is a player Hearts should be making sure stays at the club. He has barely been seen since his horror ACL injury in March of 2019 however. He's back to fitness now and taking part in training with the rest of the boys. He'll be our first choice left back this upcoming season unless Robbie Nielsen decides to bring in anybody else. But Ben Garuccio is definitely someone that we should be keeping a hold of. He'll be a great player at championship level. And the final defender in this video is young fullback Jamie Brandon. He's only recently signed a contract extension through to 2022. He's a young Scottish talent, he's capable backup for Michael Smith, definitely at championship level, and should be given a little bit of game time here and there this season to continue his progression. Jamie Brandon should be kept at heart of Midlothian. The most majestic, beautiful headband in Scottish football is now back running at Rickerton. It is of course the Austrian maestro Peter Haring. Now, he's not been seen since the 2019 Scottish Cup final as various injuries have kept him out of action for a full season, which has been heartbreaking really. The midfield's really suffered without Big Pete. However, he's back running at Rickerton, various videos on the Heart Twitter account have shown that he's making slow but steady progress to finally coming back from his various injury troubles. Once he's back fit, Peter will walk the championship and be a quality player to have back. I've really missed that number five in the centre of the park. It's a no-brainer. Keep Peter Haring at Tynecastle. When he's fit, there's not many players better than him on his day. The re-signing of Jamie Walker from Wigan Athletic was seen as a major coup for Hearts. However, injuries limited the impact that he could make this season as Hearts slipped to relegation. Now, being reunited with Robbie Nielsen just might be the spark that Jamie needs to get himself back going in a maroon jersey. Walker undoubtedly played the best football of his career under Nielsen during his previous spell at the club and if Robbie can get the best out of Jamie Walker in the second tier as well, a season in the championship once again could just be what Jamie Walker needs and for that reason I want to keep him at hearts to let him prove himself once again in the second tier and come back a much more consistent and hopefully injury free player. Ollie Ollie Lee. He was frozen out by Craig Levine and loaned to Gillingham for the duration of the 2019-20 campaign. However, he is back at Tynecastle for the final year of that three-year contract. Lee is a player with a lot still left to give at Hearts. He's still desperate to succeed in a maroon jersey and I think he'll take the opportunity given to him by Robbie Nielsen with both hands and prove himself to be a vital cog in the midfield during the championship campaign. Harry Cochran, easy this one, straight into keep. Harry burst onto the scene as a 16 year old during the 2017-18 season with his famous goal against Celtic. However, a lack of midfield options that season led Craig Levine to have to lean on the then still schoolboy Harry Cochran in midfield a lot more than he probably would have needed to or been ideal to do, which resulted in a lot of burnout during his second season. It was very stop start due to injuries and because of all the newfound attention and fame that he got really for that goal, he became a bit of a target in reserve matches and was pretty much booted up and down the park. During his third season, he was loaned out to Dunfermline Athletic and got valuable game time in the Scottish Championship before being recalled by Daniel Stendhal in January. Now, followers of Cochrane's Instagram will have been seeing him grafting away in the, the last few weeks with Ultimate Soccer along with Jamie Brandon, so that pair are clearly very determined to succeed at Hearts and this could be Harry Cochran's biggest season yet. He's got a real opportunity to force himself into the first team and get a consistent run of games which would be brilliant for his development and I would love to see Harry Cochran really make a name for himself during the upcoming season. <sighs> Loic Damour, he deserves a category all of his own. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and give him one right now. Never! ever a Premier League footballer and if that man can turn out in the English top flight there's hope for us all really a dreadful dreadful sign and an absolute waste of a jersey his most memorable moment is a disallowed goal he scored against Rangers in the Scottish Cup where from a corner he thought you know what I'm just going to slam dunk the ball into the net with my hand never mind receiving any sort of transfer fee for him I would happily pay to get him off the wage books at Tynecastle. Andy Irving is another top young prospect that Robbie Nielsen should be giving plenty of game time to with the upcoming season in mind. He's classy, composed, has an eye for a pass and that left foot it can open a tin of beans, no bother at all. The Portobello Pirlo would be a great player to get involved this season. I'd love nothing more for a boy who jammed to really nail down a starting spot during this campaign. Andy Irving, no brainer, keep him on. 
Tony McDonald is another player that Robbie Nielsen should be looking to develop in the upcoming campaign. Anthony has got bags of trickery and pace and could flourish under Robbie Nielsen because he does like his pacey wide men and should be getting involved at championship level. Tony should be kept on at the club. Definitely. He can, he's got a lot of potential, a lot of room to develop and I can see this being a very important season in the young man's career. One of the best things that Daniel Stendel did during his short time at the helm was give Lewis Moore a run in the first team. He kind of came from nowhere after a very lacklustre loan spell at Falkirk. However, Stendel fancied the look of Murray in training and gave him a run in the team and Murray repaid that faith with a string of impressive performances grabbing assists against Hibs and Rangers and looking very energetic on that left hand side. He'll start most weeks in the championship and Robbie Nielsen should be looking to him to provide creativity out wide. Callum Morrison, I'm going to say loan him out for the upcoming campaign. Don't get me wrong, he's still a great young prospect, he's lightning quick, skillful and can whip a good ball into the box but if Robbie Nielsen brings in other wide men such as currently on trial Motherwell winger or former Motherwell winger Elliot Freer I can see his game time being pretty limited and at that age he will be playing games every single week so if he can't get the game time he needs at hearts it's probably better to loan him out. Stephen Naismith, we're now on to the forwards, this will be a pretty brief one. Naismith, despite the drop in division, has committed to hearts and is staying put in the championship. He's a club captain, he's a leader on the pitch, he's almost like a manager as he gives out tactical advice constantly. Some would say it's more than, but it's Stephen Naismith, it's what he does best and we all love him for it really. He'll be a crucial player despite his age and should score goals for fun. Uche Ik Piazu. This one might not go down very well with a lot of you guys, but I'm going to say sell. But I'm going to justify my reasons why. Don't start shouting at me just yet. Here's why I think Uche Ik Piazu should leave. Now, Uche, before lockdown, was called up to the Uganda squad and unfortunately never got to play as a result of the pandemic, but he's now at a stage in his career where he's got international aspirations with Uganda and to reach said aspirations he needs to be playing regularly, week in, week out and with the forward options at our disposal I can't see him starting every single week and if he's wanting to play international football he can't just be making do with 30 minutes, one half off the bench although it's tempting to have him as a wildcard option and I must say the prospect of seeing Uchi Ikpiatsu ragdoll championship defenders is a very interesting one to me. I do feel for the sake of his career and for his international career, he should possibly be moved on from the club. Connor Washington is another forward I feel that should be sold. Now initially, I wasn't against Connor staying at Hearts, you know. His campaign was interrupted by injury and we never really got to see the best of him. And I did feel that a season in the championship would probably have done him good, but like Uche, Connor has got international football to be concerned about and at the time of recording, a proposed move to Charlton Athletic is in the process of going through. So, to be honest, I think a fresh start down south for Connor is just what he needs to, you know, put his injury troubles behind him and get back into the international radar. All the best, Connor, if and when you do leave. Thanks for your efforts, but it's probably the best for both parties that he moves on. He gets a fresh start down south and we get to get one of the highest earners off the wage bill. It works well for both of us. Liam Boyce, pretty easy this one, keep. He was a marquee signer in January from Burton Albion and netted a memorable winner against Rangers in his debut before scoring away to St Johnston. Soon after that, he really improved our striking prospects and unfortunately couldn't really score any more goals due to the lockdown period beginning and the season being brought to a close. Now, he's another player that says he wants to stay at the club and Liam Boyce in the championship. He will rip nets for fun. Craig Whiten, he should be sold really, like, he was signed in 2018 with a view for developing for the future but it's not really worked out for him at Tynecastle, has it? We've got much better strikers on him and a fresh start for both club and player is exactly what is needed. And finally for this list, Ewan Henderson, we should be keeping him at the club. He's another young prospect who has committed his future to the club, he of course signed that recent contract extension to extend his stay at Tynecastle until at least 2022. He's another Scottish prospect breaking into the first team scene at Tynecastle and he's definitely one to watch this season and for the future. And with that, that brings today's video to a close. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, leave a like and a comment down below and let me know what you thought. Comment down below and let me know your opinions on my opinion. And if you want to do the tier maker for yourself, I'll leave the link down there so you can access my template and tweet me at AaronFraser37 with your own tiers and let me know who should be kept and who should be sold. With that said, that's all from me and I'll see you next time for some more Hearts content. Until then, 
Take care. Bye for now.